Now it's time for the morning business report on your Tuesday. If you own an iPhone, Mac computer, or an iPad, you're definitely go going to want to listen to this. So Apple released a transparency report. Are governments asking for less or more data about its customers? Channel 3's Ooh. Jane King joins us live from NASDAQ <laughs> with that answer. Good morning, Jane. Hi, uh, Wendell Nicole, good morning to you. Well, governments are asking for less, but it's still a lot of data from Apple. So they release these transparency reports a couple times a year. So this one is for the second half of 2020. And these are data requests from not just governments, but also companies, individuals, is usually in response to a lawsuit of some sort. Now, the tech giant said that government requests had targeted 83,000 devices. That was about half as many as the year earlier. It did say that that it provided uh, the data 77% of the time. Well, the average parent with kids under 18 plans to spend $276 per child on gifts this holiday season. That's going to creditcards.com. The average holiday celebrant with a significant other intends to spend $250 on that person. Uh, the survey also found consumers feeling just more generous this year, probably because of what we went through last year, and they're willing to go into or add to debt for seasonal spending this year. And AMC says all of its U.S. theaters are now open. That was as of September 30th. The movie theater chain welcomed back 40 million guests during the third quarter. That's globally. Those new blockbuster titles, vac vaccination rates, all helping with that. AMC saw big improvements to its food and beverage revenue as well. And stock averages closed at more record highs yesterday. Infrastructure related stocks did really well after Congress passed that to spending bill on Friday. Today looks like a flat start though. Life in the Nasdaq market site. I'm Jane King. Back to you.